had Andy Beck, um, one of the most prolific composers in the nation, come in. Uh, he wrote one of our pieces, Count the Stars. Um, our kids performed it, and then um, he was able to kind of clinic us. He talked to us about the text, um, about expressing, about like what, what the piece means to him and who it was written for. Um, and I think our kids got a ton out of it. I'll count the stars. It's a little too much right at the start of stars. Save it. We kind of broke it down into two main elements, the technical things, which in order to express it, the technical stuff has to be right, notes and rhythms, cutoffs, all those things. And then in terms of the expression, I feel like with a lot of music that we do, we kind of learn it, we sing it, and then we do it at a concert and it's done, right? But all music is written for a purpose. It has a meaning as a story. This particular piece was written for uh, a student named Briggs Anderson. Um, he was like 14 years old. He was involved in choir and band and all these things. And he passed away on uh, like a church weekend trip um, and his choir they asked um, Andy Beck to write this piece and commissioned it for his like senior graduation what would be to make a song beautifully come to life you want to connect your own heart and soul to the meaning of the song and the way to do that is yes you remember where the song comes from you know the bridge story now but Try to connect the same idea to your own life. A lot of our kids have a lot of trauma. Like, I have a lot of kids that have told me stories that make me, like, just almost make me want to break down, right? That they have that much on their shoulders. And so what a beautiful way to be able to connect to that through music and, it, and find a positive way to express those feelings together in a place that is safe.